Hello my lovely friends. Thank you for stopping by. I always really get excited when I start a new craft. So I'm always excited to meet with you and show you what I've been up to. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not doing anything super complicated as I want to make a few of these envelopes. Um, I think if I have a bunch of them in my stash maybe just um, I'll probably make a whole bunch and put them in a shoebox and pull from them when I need to. And they're very easy to make. I'm going to open this one up, show you how I did it, what it looks like. There you go. And there's the pocket. So super, super easy. Let's make one together. Um, I bought some of these papers. They are pages from a, an old dictionary and I bought a stack of Etsy I don't know a couple, few months ago um, and I've I've used them from to time to, to time to time <laughs> to time to time <laughs> in um, collages but I want to make pockets out of these so um, what I've done because they're older paper is I've taken a clear liquid glue and you could use Mod Podge as well, or a matte medium. I just felt like the glue had some, like it would add some sturdiness. I always say it adds security. And um, there's this one. I've already put glue on this side. I'm now going to put glue on this side. Sorry, no, I'm not going to put glue on this side. Um, I'm going to put some paper over this side. And I don't... I want to fold, have this side be the inside, this way, because it has a rat. <laughs> How odd. I, I, they're cute and furry and all, but I don't want to, I don't want to see the rat. So on this one, sorry, let me backtrack just for a second. On this page, I have already put the glue on the side that's going to be the outside. Sorry, didn't mean to be confusing. Um, so this one is done. All I have to do is um, cover the inside with some paper. And I'm going to do that, but um, on this one I have not put glue. And so I'm going to put glue on this one just, just as a part of the tutorial to show you how I do it. And then I'll set this one aside because it won't be dry quickly enough. This liquid glue takes, I want to say an hour, hour and a half to dry and I'm not being fancy I'm going to use my fingers really just going to smooth it out everywhere all the way to the edge um, and it seals the paper off and because you're folding this paper and it's slightly older you know I don't want the paper to tear over time and I think it will so giving it this glue um, coating I guess is going to hopefully I'm hoping prevent it from ever um, tearing on the fold all right so that's that's it I just put down a layer um, get some of this glue off my fingers I'll put this little guy aside um, and I'll use him later and I'll bring back this one that already has the glue down so this one I already put the glue down on the side it's already dry and now what I'm going to do is just flip it over and on the inside I want to put a different so there's a nice surprise when you when you open it up it's like oh there's no writing there <laughs> it's a picture um, so just something a little different. So let's get some decent amount of glue down everywhere. I probably should have brought out my extra strength glue, but let's just go with this. I can always catch it in places if it comes undone. I don't think it will. Hope not. Okay, sorry, Mr. Rat. But we are co covering you. 
you can just sleep here nicely just sleep here nicely okay mr rat's like whatever <laughs> this is my page <laughs> all right this is and i'm using um some gift wrap paper that i i've had around for a little while and um, you know, always the gift wrap paper that comes in this big roll and you use it for this tiny little, one little, tiny little thing. And I've had it for ages. But I think this is a nice way for me to be able to use it up. Okay, so that is glued down. And I think I'll just tear it off because it tears really easily. And then I get that nice raw edge on the end of my envelope so I hope you guys it's Monday morning for me and I hope you guys had a great weekend our weekend was <clears throat> a little wet and soggy but the plants loved the rain so that was nice this one's a little little close to the edge so Maybe if I tear this way. Oh. Nope. Where is my knife? I am just going to cut that last little bit, I think. I'm not going to fight with it. Just like that. I think this one will be fine to tear. Let's see. I really love it when I'm able to use up um, things that I already have. Um, the dictionary pages I bought but it was really inexpensive I think they sent me a hundred pages Man, um, hmm. I don't want to lie to you because I don't honestly remember the exact amount but I re just remember thinking gosh it's it's not bad at all all right so now we've got this side that's been sealed off with the glue and it's nice and dry we've got this side that's sealed off with some paper and now the one thing is, if I just go ahead and I turn this over, it's you, you've got to make a decision for yourself here. This is going to be upside down, and that's going to be upside down. And I don't want that. So I'm going to flip it around. The writing, sorry, is going to be upside down. So I want to flip it around so that when I turn this over, my writing is the right way up, you know, to where I could read it. So I'm going to have it be this way. And, but first, sorry, let me not skip a step. Get these edges aged up so that you don't see the white of the wrapping paper coming through. If you don't mind that, of course, you don't have to do this step. Um, but I don't want to see the white. I want to see a little bit of aging. You know, as I feel this paper in my hand... It now, with all the glue and the extra backing of, a, of the wrapping paper, it almost feels leathery. Um, it's kind of cool. <laughs> it's kind of cool to have that feel. Um, so I think this little envelope and the ones I'm going to be making going forward will stand the test of time. All right, so I think we had, we went this way, right? Nope, we didn't this way. This way, so my writing is the correct way. And how deep you want your pocket is now up to you. Do you want it that deep? Do you want it this deep? I kind of, I'm just going to eyeball it. So let's see. I'm going to go, let me make sure it's straight. Straightish. <laughs> ish being the, ish is my measurement. <laughs> straight-ish. Here's a fold. So we want to get that all aged up. Here we go. All right, artichokey. That didn't rhyme. Okie dokie, artichokey. That rhymes. All right, so there we go. Got that down. Now when I flip this over, again, it's a choice. I like to leave a little gusset of space here. Um, but you can fold right down to the edge if you want to. I just like to, 
to because I think that later on when I start putting things into my little pocket into my little envelope um, it gives a little space it just allows for a little a little bulgy space if you start really stuffing this I need to take off there's quite a bit of the white coming through and I don't think that a bit much I'm going to just tear that off re-ink it my edge is now quite as rough as it was before but that's okay um, that's fine it's fine it's okay okay so now go this is the part again a decision you want to make how slanty do you want your edge do you want a really pointy edge do you want a, a flat edge at the bottom here and I like the flat edge so I have this is roughly speaking five and a half inches wide and so my pencil. I think I will come in. Let's see. Let's make let's make three the middle, more or less, and I'll come one and a half across and make a little stripe here, a little measurement stripe. Same on that side. And I'm gonna come from my top corner down to the little part that I this little spot that I measured and just draw a line. So I measured, let's see, what is that? Um, an inch and a half this way, inch and a half that way. And this one's a little less than an inch and a half, so let's just, oh, my measurements are terrible. Yep inch and a half and this one's not an inch and a half so let's make it so and so I'll put my my little measure there and let's get out there there we go okay so now that those two corners should be the same they don't look the same they look small this one looks smaller <clears throat> so I'll just cut a little on the other side of on the inside of the little marking that I made there we go. Cut this one off. There we go. Okay, we will get the ink back in here. We'll cut our ink off and get that back in. And there's a fold there that we want to. Okay, all right, so easy. Almost there. I'm going to get some, you can now use either double sided tape or some of your. Eileen's Tacky Glue or some Fabric Tac, whichever you have handy. I'm just going to get our edge, make the pocket, seal the pocket sides. Super, super easy, guys. There we go. So, which I didn't actually even look to see which of the words we've got here. We've got Dog Days, Dog Town, Dodge, Dog, dog Car, Dog Fight. <laughs> Maybe I should have pictures of dogs on here. I don't have any, but that would have been... Actually, you know what? If you really do look at the words on your dictionary pages, if that's what you're using, that could be kind of fun. Now, these guys are crafters free gold, you guys. Don't, if you have soda cans or tinned fruit or jams or whatever it is that you buy, keep your bottle taps... Um, or your tin tab, should I say. I have a stash. <laughs> I have three of these with all different shapes and sizes. They are super useful in your crafting as um, a place to hold um, ribbon or string. So it's up to me now just to decide which of... I think I'm going to use these browner flowers because I think on this litmus paper... The, this other one's not going to show up. So maybe I'll use green. Um, it's a bit sharp, hey? What about the orange? Yeah, let's use the orange. So I'm going to... I would paste my orange 
little tab here in the middle. So I want the top hole to be covered and the bottom hole to be exposed because I'm going to be um, putting my ribbon through this bottom one when I tie down my envelope. But first let's get down some of this. Some of these guys. Okay, just like this. I like having envelopes in my journals because you've always got something that, there's always something to a keepsake, you know. Um, oh, I thought I had my other glue, but I don't. I'm going to have to use this one and just hope it's enough to hold this. I think it, it, it'll just have to be. I'm just going to... If I age this a little, if it'll stand out a bit more. So I got this, these, um, these things off AliExpress. And I had no idea what it was. <laughs> so I just, I, it wasn't expensive enough. Well, let me try. And they've, they're super. They're easy to tear. I think it's called a litmus paper. And they have these beautiful botanic designs and there were tons and tons of them um, in the pack that I got and so I've been using them up quite a bit lately Let's see if I put that one oh I never oh never put the ink there we go put the ink I think it does help to just um, identify it on the page otherwise I think they might get a little lost with all the writing behind them, like that. Let's see, maybe we get. I'm getting all sticky. <laughs> it's okay. All right, just like that. And glue. And let's put this guy down here. Don't forget to age it. There we go. Gosh, I like these so much. They're so cute. All right, I think that's probably enough for now. I can always come back and put in a few more. But I'm going to put a decent dollop of my glue down just here. And I, I'm being generous because I do, I want this, this little guy to stay put. Don't want him to come off. All right. So there you go, buddy. You just sit there. I don't want the glue to get onto the top necessarily because I don't want to dull the shiny bit of it. Um, that's really coming along. So if I've got it like that. And then when you open it up, it's got the pink paper. And now that I look at the pink paper, I'm thinking I probably... I probably should have stuck with, the, with those colors on the outside. But that's okay. Maybe it's just a nice surprise when you look at it and you go, oh, autumn, fall, oh, wait, spring. <laughs> For these colors. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> this, um, what if I put a green down? Nah, doesn't matter. Um, okay, so there it is. It's just about done. The only thing I've got to do is wait for this to dry and then put in my ribbon and our envelope is done. So I'm going to leave this for a minute. We'll come back and put some ribbons in. I have an idea. I think just to make this envelope look a little different and have some individuality, I've got this little raised puffy sticker. <clears throat> and I think what I'd like to do is... I'm really going crazy with the glue here. But to put it at the top of the clasp... Um, just because that orange is really kind of it was a little a little sharp for me this orange color on the tab so I've got this uh, little puffy sticker here and I've added another sticker there and another one on the inside okay so now I'm gonna have to really leave this to dry to have these adhere and then we'll put in the ribbon afterwards 
Okay, you guys, um, so I don't know if this glue is 100% dry, but I'm going to just, I'm going to chance it. <laughs> I'm going to hope, hope and pray um, that I'm okay. I'm going to flip my little envelope over and I'll just work carefully, just in case it is not completely dry. But I'm going to lay this ribbon down, but let me first see um, how much needs to stick out the bottom because the bottom needs is going to travel a little further to get to the clasp so I probably want to give the bottom a little bit extra to there I think that that should do it let's see to there like that yep no I think that's that's pretty good so I've got the envelope I'm going to use my mat as a measure and pick it up and pop it underneath all right so let's get some glue down I've got my extra strength um, stick glue here and get that down and I hope just hope 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 that I didn't shift the clasp I'm gonna get this stuck down the middle like that let's see what I did did I do any damage no oh thank goodness but I I did manage to, there we go, let's see, is that enough? I think so. I think that's enough. All right, so I've got the ribbon stuck down on the back because I found that if I don't, I lose the ribbon <laughs> when I undo the, the envelope. <clears throat> and just to keep this whole project together. Um... Kaya? Oh, Kaya just woke up in all her furry glory. <laughs> um, all right, so let's see. I'm going to leave that just for another second to dry and then we'll tie it up. Okay, so um, I had to let Kaya out to quickly go and use the potty. So she's all good now and I think that gave our little clasp here a little extra time to dry. And I'm going to... I've been trying to think whether I want to paste that down there as well. And I think I do because then it really isn't going to go anywhere. Like that. Okay, just like that. And now I'm going to work just really carefully because I'm not so sure how dry we are. All right, in here. Oh, no twisting. No twisting. There we go. And this is the uh, this is how you're going to, to close your envelope, you guys. You just thread the through the bottom. You could thread through the top as well. It doesn't really matter. Um, the ribbon's not going anywhere. You've glued it down. I'm just going to make a cute little cute little bow here. Come on, Celeste, make a bow. My goodness. I've had two cups of coffee. <laughs> I should be able to make a bow. <laughs> but there we go. All right. It is not the greatest looking bow, but it's there. And you get the idea, right? We did it. Even with a potty break <laughs> for Kaya. <laughs> there you go, you guys. And, you know, I was looking at some of the stash I have on the side here and I was doing some painting yesterday and using this book page as a as blotting paper and I think this also could make a really nice pocket you know if you were to um, fold this over and make a pretty pocket and sealed in all of this beautiful blotched paint um, that could be nice too so look at all the papers you've got and um, I love this vintage look but I think a, a nice fun bright envelope could be could be nice too um, there you go Thank you so much for joining me. I have so much fun in, in these craft sessions. Um, it really makes my day. So thank you for stopping by. And we'll see you next time.